So, excuse my day three hair, but the first thing we get at Costco are the meats. Are you all done? Oh, I didn't say hello. Hello, welcome to the, the video. Um, we're gonna get meats first. No produce because it's too big for our family. We'd end up wasting a lot, so I always get produce at Trader Joe's. Are you all now done? we're gonna get the meats. My very organized list <laughs> with horrible handwriting. What is that? You like the cake? Yeah. Okay, let's go get some meat. Costco food lined up on the counter. The kids are in bed now and I finally have a chance to film this for you guys. There are some new things this month that I'm really excited to try so let's just get into the haul. So I love the brand Annie's for my kids because it is just really great ingredients for them and these are new. This is the first time I've ever seen these. They're called Cheddar Cheesy Smiles um, and Coco and I tried one and we definitely like them. They're not like the fake cheesy taste like a lot of the non healthy stuff will be they have a little bit less flavor a little less salt that's one reason why I love Annie's this is not sponsored by the way but um, they are really good and Coco loved them they're a really soft crunch here let me show you guys they're a really soft crunch so I feel completely safe um, giving one to Coco because on Pirate's Booty I feel like I have to watch her because um, it doesn't disintegrate like these do Anyway, so the next thing is some natural turkey breast deli meat for Daniel's lunches. This is something new. It's the Happy Inside Cereal for Digestive Wellness. And it was twice as much as my normal granola. It just looked really good and I wanted to give it a try. It's simply strawberry. It looks like it's this cereal mixed cereal slash granola. And the cashier at Costco said it is really, really good and he likes it with yogurt. So that's how I'm going to try it. Um, for Daniel, we got Honey Bunches of Oats because that is one of his favorite cereals and it is a little more on the healthy side. This is something I love getting whenever they have it in. It's the organic acai juice. I love it just plain or inside of a smoothie. It's really good and it was on sale for $5.99 I think, which this will last me like two to three weeks. It stays good that long in my fridge. Maybe it's not supposed to, but yeah, I'll be enjoying that with breakfast or as a breakfast if I make a smoothie. So this is something that I've never gotten at Costco before, but it's organic mixed vegetables. I thought it would be really nice to serve as a side because it's a lot of different vegetables and the kids could get used to more. Or how easy would it be to get like some rotisserie chicken and this, all you have to do is make a gravy, biscuits, and you have like a chicken pot pie type thing. So easy, so I'm really excited to have that in my freezer. I always get butter at Costco. I always get insulted because with baking, I like to be able to completely control the amount of salt that I put in. Um, and then this looks like a ton of bread, but we go through six loaves of bread each month. So it looks like a lot, but we will go through it. It's Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 grains, 21 whole grains and seeds organic bread. I throw it in the freezer as is and it defrosts wonderfully you just have to if it's frozen you just throw it in the toaster it tastes great or you can just let it defrost in your cupboard or whatever and it you can't even tell that it was frozen next I have four dozen cage-free eggs I would like to get organic but they're just so much more expensive and I don't really have the budget for that but cage-free is important to me too however a viewer did tell me last time that Costco brand eggs are more tasteless and that Eggloon's Best is a fl more flavorful brand, which I never noticed it, but I totally agree. These are pretty flavorless, but they're affordable, so that's why I have them this time. But but now that she mentioned that, I can totally tell the difference. <clears throat> this is organic whole milk. Um, the kids drink milk now, both Marcus and Chloe, and if they're going to be drinking so much of it, I would just rather that it was the best I can afford. This is quite expensive, but... 
it's worth it for them so at least for drinking this is what I'm gonna be giving them but in foods cereals or for Daniel and I I just have this regular 2% milk I have two rotisserie chickens they're in the bags because someone shopping there once told me that if you don't want them to leak in your car you can find these bags in the meat section um, and they fit perfectly around one of the rotisserie chickens so I've always been doing that I have two of them same as last time I'm going to take all the meat off shred it and then put it in the freezer I'm gonna try to do a lot more crock pot recipes this month so I think this will be great because I could just make a soup and add already cooked chicken to it towards the end make it really easy um, and then I also have my usual two packs of the organic ground beef they're $20 each and it's four pounds so it is a really decent price um, this is a huge package of chicken breasts um, it's a really good price it's frozen in water and salt so it does have a lot of liquid with it so I wish I could get something a little better for us but again that's what my budget allows right now and then the last thing is this huge pork tenderloin and these are amazing price at Costco this huge piece of meat was only $13 and we will get like three meals out of this easily. I just love to slow cook all of it and shred it and make a sweet pork barbacoa for quesadillas, taco salads, or burritos. And it is so delicious. Everyone that I've made it for loves it and asks for the recipe. So maybe if you guys want to see it in a video, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, this is such a great price. And I've done this for parties before because... I mean, $13 for something that big is really good. So our budget for this Costco trip is $200 a month, and I try to get everything like meats, dairy, eggs, cereals, that kind of a thing there. I never get fresh produce there because the packages are just so large that my family would not be able to consume them all before things went bad. So what I like to do is go to Trader Joe's once a week, and my goal is to spend $25 a week there for the fresh produce and then odds and ends that I might need for meals. And I really like shopping at Trader Joe's because it's so much smaller of a store and I can easily make a shopping trip there in 30 minutes. The kids are happy, I'm happy, and we're home. So this month we were actually below budget by about $10 and I spent $190 on this food. So that's the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you tried that happy inside um, probiotic cereal because I'm really interested to give it a try. Let me know if you want to see maybe a Trader Joe's food haul next and I would be happy to make that for you. Hope you all are having a great night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.